All over the world for near a century and a half, children and grown-ups alike have enjoyed Professor Clement Clark Moore's poem, The Night Before Christmas, or as he called it, A Visit from St. Nicholas. This is the musical story of that poem and how it came to be. One wintry day in New York City, which was then only a small town, not the great city it is today, Dr. Moore's family and their cook Gretchen were preparing for Christmas. They were making taffy and candies, while the little dog eagerly tried to get some of it for himself. Listen to their activity in a song about making candy and goodies for the holiday season, Savory Serenade. Meanwhile, Professor Moore had to visit a nearby town for a few days to deliver a lecture, but he promised to be home before Christmas. Before he left, he asked his children what they wanted him to bring them for Christmas. Charity, his daughter, especially wanted a book or story about St. Nicholas. Professor Moore had left, Peter, the Moore's handyman, went into the woods for a Christmas tree. 
With the dog trailing right along, he went deep into the snowy woods and found the perfect tree to take home. Wintertime is a song about Peter's trip into the winter and cold and snow. Setting up the tree ready for decorating took all evening. It was bedtime for the children. But little Charity felt miserable. She was beginning to catch a cold. But her mother thought she might be better in the morning. And while the children are being put to bed, we hear the song Lullaby Time.
Mrs. Moore called Dr. Sawyer. At the same time all this was going on, Professor Moore was giving his lecture. When it was over, he went out to buy the children the presents he had promised, but he could not find a book or story about St. Nicholas. The store owner said none had ever been written. So, Professor Moore bought Charity a music box instead. sent Peter to find Professor Moore and bring him home right away. The sleigh simply flew home. Professor Moore arrived, he found Charity too ill to be interested in the music box. All she wanted was a story about St. Nicholas, and there was no such story. Finally, Professor Moore decided to write a story himself, and he did. In a little while, he read to Charity the poem he called A Visit from St. Nicholas. You will hear the poem Charity's father read to her, the one we know as The Night Before Christmas, telling about Santa's reindeer and all the rest. Thank you. 
His cheeks were like roses when kissed by the sun. His nose like a cherry all wrinkled with fun. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. The beard on his chin was as white as the snow. so much that she felt better and when Christmas Day came she was well enough to enjoy it with all the rest of the family. Tis the morning of Christmas and all through the house Not a creature is sleeping not even a
enjoy your Christmas too. And we hope you enjoyed the music and the story of the night before Christmas as much as Charity did. Mm -hmm.